Dave from the Adobe Character Animator team, and today at IBC, the International Broadcasting Convention in Amsterdam, we announced some new features that are coming very soon to Adobe Character Animator CC. Now, we don't have a public release date on these yet. Uh, this is just a sneak peek, a preview of what's to come, but rest assured, the team is working hard as possible uh, to make this update as great as we possibly can. So these are six short featurette videos that we put together uh, for the convention, and uh, they showcase a lot of really cool stuff. Clipping masks, a new physics behavior, a completely overhauled and totally customizable trigger system, and a whole lot more. So uh, take a quick look and uh, hope you enjoy. Adobe Character Animator CC now includes several enhancements to audio to give your creations their best possible voice. An updated lip sync algorithm powered by Adobe Sensei helps pick the most accurate mouth shapes to correspond with spoken sounds. Audio is now represented in the timeline with a waveform display, giving guidance for animation timing and allowing for frame-by-frame -frame precision when editing visings. This can be from audio recorded on your device or external audio tracks imported and dragged into your scene. And by right-clicking in the timeline, automatic lip sync data can now be copied and pasted into After Effects and other applications as keyframes, giving you more control at every stage of your workflow. Adobe Character Animator CC adds an improved triggering system that makes controlling and customizing your animations easier than ever. The new Triggers panel allows for simple on-demand trigger creation, just drag any layer into the panel and assign an alphanumeric key to it. Pressing this key shows the triggered artwork in a scene. Multiple parts of a puppet, including those with behaviors, can be added to a single trigger, making more advanced triggered animations possible. Swap sets make it easy to organize triggers where artwork gets replaced, like different hand positions. Simply drag a group into the triggers panel, click the finger icon to select a default, and add keys for each additional state. In your scene, only one trigger shows up at a time. For recordings, triggers are now visualized in the timeline by name, allowing for clearer timing and easier editing. The Controls panel gives you a new way to see and interact with your triggers. Character Animator can find existing triggers in a puppet and generate a customized set of interactive buttons. You can adjust the layout to keep everything organized, and even drag in additional behavior parameters like position and rotation to create even more fully customized real-time controls, including support for external MIDI devices. The latest update of Adobe Character Animator CC includes several improvements to the eyes and eyebrows, allowing for more expressive faces for your characters. The new Snap Eye Gaze option lets the pupils dart between nine common positions based on your own pupil movements in the webcam, or controlled by the arrow keys on your keyboard, or dragging with your mouse or fingers on a touch-enabled device. This gives you more customization and precise control over your character's gaze, so they'll always be looking exactly where you want. Eyebrows have new raised and lowered tilt options, letting their angle adjust as you raise or lower your own eyebrows for added expressiveness, such as tilting inward at a low point to accentuate a scowl, or tilting outward at a high point to enhance a surprised look. Three new behaviors have been added to Adobe Character Animator CC, giving creators more options for how their characters come to life. The Layer Picker behavior triggers a specific layer in a puppet or group. Choose the layer by index number, percentage, microphone, keyboard, mouse, touch-enabled display, or a combination of any of these. The Fader behavior allows users to show or hide a specific part of a puppet by fading the opacity of that part or group of parts over time. The part will fade in and out over a custom duration when triggered. And collisions, as part of the new physics behavior, allow layers to bounce, collide, and interact with each other. Setup is simple. Just add the new dynamic and collide tags to your artwork and adjust parameters like gravity, friction, and bounciness. These additions allow objects in your scenes to interact with each other in realistic ways based on whatever rules you create. Puppet rigging has greatly improved in the latest update to Adobe Character Animator CC. Rigging a puppet with independent parts is now more streamlined with automatic attachment of independent groups to their parents, such as arms, legs, or other parts that overlap a torso. For newly imported artwork, position the group's origin to where you expect it to attach, like a shoulder for an arm, and the overlapped artwork turns green, 
indicating a clear connection without any additional manual stapling required. Meshes are now visible as yellow outlines in the Puppet panel when their contents are selected, making it clearer how parts are connected and controlled by one another. And Clipping Mask support now lets you use the content of a layer to mask other layers above it. A simple example would be a circular mask on an eyeball to ensure the pupil doesn't float off the edge of the eye, but masking can be extended to other areas like hair or shadows that could smoothly slide into place as a character moves its head. The latest update to Adobe Character Animator CC gives you a new option to help achieve a pose-to-pose -pose animated style. By default, characters follow your webcam movement in real time, meaning as soon as you move your head or raise your eyebrows, your character will do the same. But by adjusting the new pose-to-pose -pose parameters under the face behavior, characters can now stick in a given pose and smoothly transition from one held position to another based on a custom duration. This gives you the option of a style commonly seen in traditional hand-drawn animation, where characters move from one pose to the next instead of constant movement. Adjusting the parameters lets you customize the movement to match the personality of your character, giving more control than ever to the quality of animation in both live and recorded performances. So that's a quick look at the new features. Uh, pretty awesome stuff, and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to create when you have all these new tools at your disposal. Uh, when this does release, we will have a ton of new example files and projects and puppets and video tutorials to help teach you about all the new techniques and features. Um, so make sure to subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter. I'm at OKSamurai. I will tweet out the very second that this new release comes out. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.